Hello, everyone. We've got a guest post today. It's a tip from Vijay Ratanam from India. He's a sound designer. We've done、uh, a few things before already, but in this video, he's showing us his pick cut track trick using Vordio. It's a really cool trick for anyone that's working on films、uh, with a picture editor. This is going to be really helpful. Hello, Reaper users. The first thing that I want to show you today is something that I call a picture cut track. That is very helpful when、uh, designing sound for a film or any video content, any post production. So this basically helps you to find the frame boundaries、uh, of each cut. So the way I do that is I get a picture EDL from the video editor, from the film editor, and there is an app that I use called Vodio. It also helps、uh, in reconfirming sessions to a new picture cut for Reaper. If you haven't got it,、uh, I suggest、uh, you buy it. It's very useful for post production. Anyway, so now we have an EDL file which was given to me by the picture editor. I just drag and drop it into Vodio, and I make sure my frame rate is set to 24 frames per second. Project that I'm working on is on 24 frames per second, which is why I have it set to 24. And there's an option here. It says include video as empty items. And I check it. Now, when I click convert, it basically creates a, a Reaper project. Here you go. And this Reaper project will have one track, and it has a bunch of empty items. This is basically a representation of、uh, the picture editor's timeline. So what I'm going to do now is copy this track and paste it in my actual、um, project where I'm designing sound for a for a trailer. And I call this track "Picture Cuts." Now, if you go here. Um, each item represents a shot, so that's a shot. So the first frame of that shot is the start of this, and the end of this is the beginning of the next cut, and similarly the next one. So next one, and so on. So this really helps you to when you're doing ambiences or when you're doing. Foley, you know, when you want to cut something to a scene,、uh, this track is really helpful. This is something that I call a picture cut track. The second thing that I'm going to show you is、uh, an extension of the picture cut track workflow.、Uh, so, as I showed earlier, we have made、uh, picture cuts. It's so useful when you're cutting backgrounds,、uh, ambiences. Let's say I want to start the sound on the first frame of the picture cut. And I want to、uh, end this. So this is a desert. So I want to cut some desert ambiences up to the first frame of this picture cut. So I can make selections exactly, and I can then、uh, go to Sound Miner or Reaper's Media Explorer. I use Sound Miner, but it will work. So if I just put a track into Reaper. It will only spot to the selection, so that helps you、uh, to make better spotting. So when you spot, it spots to the selection that you've marked inside Reaper. So basically, with the help of the picture cuts, you have now measured the frame boundaries. So the sound exactly starts on the first frame of that picture cut, and then at the last frame of the picture cut, it ends. Um, you know, just before the next shot begins. So your picture cut track helps you a lot, especially when you're doing a big、uh, TV show or a film where you have a lot of scene changeovers, and for each scene you need to cut、uh, different ambiences. So the picture cut track helps you immensely in figuring out what you need to do. Hope this is、uh, of good use to you. Thank you. And that is such a fantastic tip from VJ. Thank you so much, VJ, for sharing that tip with my viewers. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Please give the video a like if you did, and 
Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon. And visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials. Thank you.